Hello lovely human beings, welcome to another weekly reading vlog. Happy Tuesday. My kitchen is finished. What? It's actually freaking finished everybody. I mean, it kind of. <laughs> I know that you probably thought it was already finished but there was little bits that needed to be touched up. There was little bits of paint which have now been touched up and I'm now not allowed to shut or move these doors which is um, difficult when you have to cook, so I'm going out for dinner. <laughs> I didn't realize this would be a problem, but when you're trying to fit into this space and you can't shut any of these cupboard doors, not ideal, but there's a shelf. Look, it's a shelf. The tiling is finished, the grouting is finished. It's actually finished. I say, like, I say it tentatively because I have to wait for this to dry. I can't put anything on that shelf for a week, I think, for it to dry properly, but So that is immensely exciting and now stinks of paint in here again. Yay. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go out for dinner. I was not intending to do that, but I just can't really get access to cooking in there and I would rather go out than get a takeaway because I've had too many of those recently. So that's my plan. Book wise, I was hoping that I would have finished The Decking and House Murders by the time I was updating you next, but I really am nearly finished with it and I will totally, hopefully finish that tonight depending on what time I get home. I wasn't loving it that much. And then last night I sat down and read a hundred pages. And now I can't stop reading it. I need to know what's gonna happen. This is inspired by Agatha Christie's and then there were none. It is very gripping. It is set on an, it, it, I was about to say an enchanted island, definitely not enchanted, isolated island in which there is a group of seven people who have gone to this island and they are slowly being killed and it's a figuring out who's done it. At the same time, there's two people not on the island that are realizing something might be funny and something might be going on. And they're kind of trying to track down what the hell's happening without really knowing that these murders are going on on the island at the same time as they're trying to figure out this wider mystery. So I am enjoying it a lot more than I thought I was originally. Going into this, I thought it would be one that I would really, really love. But then when I started it, I just thought, oh, it started really strong. The middle was a bit meh, but then the last hundred pages or so have been really, really good. So I've got 80 pages left. We'll hopefully be finishing that tonight, but I'm gonna go out now and eat some food and not worry about getting paint on myself because I've already got paint on myself several times. Thankfully not on my clothes. And I will catch up with you tomorrow slash later. <sighs> I'm reading this at 10.56 in the evening. It is very orange. Wow. Can we make it less orange? No. Okay. We're just going to roll with it. Roll, roll with it. It's an aesthetic. <sighs> it's not scary, but there's a murder on the loose and there's three people that are trying to look into it. And I'm just like, mm, there's going to be peril happening, surely. Oh, I'm less orange now. The aesthetic is gone. And yeah, it's not like I'm scared, but I'm creeped out. <laughs> So I'm gonna get in the shower now and hope that nobody comes to kill me whilst I'm doing that And then I'm gonna read the rest of this in bed, maybe or like a good chunk I've got like 40 pages left now 40 50 pages left. So These are my late-night thoughts mm. Hello, it's Beth from the future coming at you to create a new day in between Tuesday and Wednesday that we'll call Flens Day. The reason I'm coming at you from the future is because I wanted to talk to you about the ad segment of this weekly reading vlog. Now, I was going to pop this in on Friday because Friday was Shop Independent Day, but I thought that not everyone necessarily gets to the end of a reading vlog and I didn't want you guys to not hear about this because I am very, very excited about this promotion that I'm working on. So, without further ado, I am currently working with Paper and Word on this promotion. This is a UK female founder business, environmentally friendly. For every order placed, a tree is planted, which I love. And they make some amazing book sleeves and some delightful candles that are released every three months seasonally. These are the summer ones. We've got Mindful and Bloom. But back to the book sleeves, I want to talk to you about each one here and show you these absolutely stunning designs. Everything will be linked down below in the description because Paper and Word just need all the love. They are absolutely amazing. Show your support. Support for independent shop day, shop independent day, even though it's already passed, but you know, we can shop independent every day. So the first one I've got is this little small one here, just for scale. It's about the size of a hand, just a bit bigger. And this one fits an e-reader in it perfectly. It fit my Kindle spot on. Very cozy, very cute, and I love the bright summer colors we've got going on here. Next up, we have got this medium-sized one, which is perfect for any paperbacks, or I suppose shorter hardbacks, but mainly this one is ideal for paperbacks. And again, really, really beautiful, bright, summery print on this one. And my favorite, because it's yellow, we have got the large one, which is perfect for hardbacks. This does indeed fit A Court of Silver Flames in it. Yes, I love the print, I love the colour. Again, beautiful for summer. Just all three of these are absolutely stunning. I mean, seriously, 
beautiful. So yeah, as I said, amazing designs, but just generally an amazing company run by some really amazing people. And I'm so proud to have been able to work on this ad with them. Keep your books protected. Stop that horrible cover bend that happens when you put your book in your bag without any book sleeve on it and it comes out bent and it's very sad. As we are slowly starting to be able to do a little bit more and go out a little bit more, you're gonna wanna bring a book with you. You're gonna wanna keep it protected. You should use paper and word. <laughs> I love this brand, I really, really do. So everything's linked down in the description. Thank you Paper and Word for working on me and thank you guys for supporting this ad within the weekly reading vlog. I'll let Wednesday Beth take back over now. Through this magical door, a parcel will be delivered this week. That parcel will be very, 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 very exciting. It's gonna contain a book. It's gonna make me really happy. I don't know what day it's arriving, but I've been told it's this week. And now me and the door are just gonna have an intimate relationship as I just stand and watch it. I'm very excited. Also, does anyone like my little Lord of the Rings sign by the front door? Okay, there is there is a reason though why this package throws a spanner in the works, as it were. So last night, at midnight, I finished reading The Deccan House Murders. I really enjoyed it. I don't know why it made me feel creeped out, but it just did. This notion of not knowing who the murderer was definitely left me feeling a bit like, um, don't know if I wanna read this late at night when I can hear lots of creaking sounds in my flat from the wind. But I did finish it, I did enjoy it. I haven't run it through Core Pile yet because of how late I finished it, but I think maybe around four stars. I have other books to read, but <laughs> let me show you what's on the menu and also tell you why this is potentially a problem. Because if this book arrives this morning, that I'm waiting for, that's fine. I'll start that next. If it doesn't, I'm gonna wanna start another book, but also <laughs> I don't want it to arrive tomorrow when I've just started another book because I'm not gonna wanna put that other book down. I it's the careful balance of when does your book mail arrive? Okay, I've acquired the two books I'm thinking of reading. They're both YA contemporaries, so they both should be fairly quick reads, I say. One of them is The Gravity of Us, and one of them is The Henna Wars. I think I would whiz through both of these, I think. What's the font size? It's like pretty big font size in The Henna Wars. What's it like in The Gravity of Us? Average, normal font size. Not that I'm basing which book I'm gonna read off of font size, I, I don't know which one to pick. I'm slightly leaning towards the Henna because I've literally had this on my TBR for the longest time, but both would tick the pink prompt for whatever film because this one is completely pink and this one, it's quite, got a sunset going on, so we've got a lot of pink here. But I don't know which one to read next. I, I've got a, I'm, I'm on a live tonight with Spoops and that's for whatever thon, whatever thon, whatever, whatever you, whatever you want to thon, whatever you want to thon for that. So whatever I pick, I will be reading on the live. I'm kind of just tempted to just allow the postman to come. And if he brings me this book, he brings me the book. And if he doesn't, then mm. <laughs> but we'll deal with that when it comes to it. So these are my options, unless super duper exciting book mail arrives. I don't know what's gonna happen, guys. I just don't know, but it's really sunny out today, really sunny. So that's exciting because it's been kind of gloomy the last few days so i might work outside for a little bit later who knows it, it anything could happen when the sun is out <laughs> Hello, I am fresh off reading sprints. My internet gave up at the end, so I got booted out, which was very sad, uh, by my internet. 
so my internet decided I wasn't allowed to do live streams anymore. But that was really fun. Thank you so much to everyone who came. It was over on India's channel in the end. I don't think I've actually said this. Um, Spoops wasn't able to host in the end. I think she wasn't feeling very well. So it was on India's channel instead, which was really fun. And I read a crap ton. I haven't actually announced what I picked to read after I gave you the choice this morning, I think. But due to B-roll, you may have already guessed, but I went with the Henna Wars. And that's my bookmark near the end. <laughs> I've read so much of this book. It is such an easy writing style. I really, really like the sisterly bond in this book. It's such a nice sister relationship. I think that this will probably come out as a solid four stars. It's really fun. It's a really easy read. It feels very wholesome and I really like it. There's kind of, there's a little bit of a level of like flatness throughout it. Like I, it could be a little bit more oomphy, which is I think why it wouldn't quite be five star territory, but I'm really loving it. I've literally got 10 pages left. So I'm gonna go and read that now. And then hopefully tomorrow morning, the book that I'm waiting for will have arrived. Because here's my thinking. It's like, I could have read this over the space of two days and then the book could have arrived on Friday. But what if the book arrives tomorrow and I immediately wanna start it? See, just, I, I don't know. I need, I need like a little tracking pin on it. <laughs> Something very helpful like that. Anyway. So that's, what day are we on? Wednesday. Oh, I haven't watched Loki yet. I need to watch Loki. Well, I'm not gonna watch Loki now because I'm gonna take my makeup off and get ready for bed. But I will watch Loki tomorrow, maybe. I've got FaceTime with friends tomorrow. And then Friday, I think I have another FaceTime with friends. <laughs> Busy socializing. But yeah, it's all good. Good Wednesday. I feel very tired right now. So I'm definitely gonna get ready for bed. I feel like I'm once again waiting for the door to go and for the book to be delivered that I was waiting to be delivered on was that yesterday? I don't know anymore. It's a busy week. Today I have got a massive live show with work. This has been something that we've been planning for ages. We have clients involved and it's just a massive, massive thing. It is happening very, very shortly and I have got an absolute banging headache. So I, yeah, I don't mind like the element of actually being live, but I just kind of want it to be done because I'm not feeling like 100% and I'm going to be on camera for the full hour of it. So that's a fun time. I just, it's kind of been what my week is revolving around. We've had this huge, huge event at work this week that we've been planning for months and months and months and I've been doing so much towards it. And then this is the final bit. So once this is done, I feel like I can just kind of deflate and be like, ah, but I'm gonna eat a banana so I can take some Nurofen because you can't take Nurofen on an empty stomach. And hopefully this will go away a little bit or it'll just get extremely worse, but book-wise I am still waiting for this magical surprise book to arrive but I don't know if it's gonna arrive today or tomorrow so I finished The Henna Wars last night I gave it four out of five stars I really enjoyed it very wholesome very sweet very nice story and all pink which is a great tick of a prompt for whatever you want a thon so I liked that one a lot but I didn't expect to read it literally in a day so now I'm like do I start a new book or does is this book gonna arrive today but also my post comes between 10 and 11 and this video, the live thing is 10 to 11. And if I'm talking at the time, I can't, I've got one of those ring doorbells so you can speak through your phone. I'm not gonna be able to tell the postman to just leave the parcel, but I'm gonna leave a post-it note. So hopefully that works. But I, I just, I don't wanna miss the parcel. I really don't wanna miss the parcel. <laughs> so um, hopefully, if it even gets delivered today, hopefully it gets delivered today because otherwise I don't know what I'm gonna start for the rest of today might read a graphic novel. I'm FaceTiming some friends later and then I wanna watch Loki. So maybe it'll just be like not a heavy reading night. I don't know, but I'm sure if it doesn't arrive today, it'll arrive tomorrow, maybe. Cue a clip for me tomorrow being like, still not arrived guys. But that's my quick jumbled update for a very hectic Thursday. I'll see you when this live thing is all done and I can deposit it from my brain and it can go because it's just been there for months.
we have a package. It's Friday. Happy Friday. Is this the book I've been waiting for? I really hope so. I really, really do. Yes! Yay! Oh my god, okay. Are you ready? The hype. The hype. Oh, I'm so glad it's arrived today. Let's see if I can give you a couple of hints first with the bits that have come with it. First up, we have got these little cards containing the potion bottle, the bow and arrow, the fox, and the apple. We've also got a little badge with a wolf on it. Can you guess what it is yet? I mean, I don't think I'd be able to guess through those things alone, but I'm very excited. I feel like the last time I updated you as well was yesterday when I was waiting for this book and it's now a different day. So <laughs> the book is, oh, you can't even see from the front of it. Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. This is a side novel to the Caraval series following Jax. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I absolutely love the Caraval series. The fantasy, the complete nonsense and unknown to it was just brilliant. Loved it so much. Yay! I can start a book again. So floppy. Okay. I, I didn't start a book yesterday and I ended up being on like a Sims date with friends until quite late so that worked well I suppose and I also watched Loki which is very exciting but after work today and after I've cleaned my flat I'm so excited I'm so excited thank you to Hodder for sending me this early review copy I cannot wait to jump in for anyone else wanting to read this it does indeed come out in September I think which is really exciting but yeah can't wait to dive in this is the book I've been waiting for all week. How very, very, very exciting. It's popcorn time! Hello, I am here to wrap up the vlog. It is Saturday night. It is 9.30. Oops, I did not know it was that late. I'm just sat watching the uh, the film, the, the only film. I'm sat watching a film accidentally. It's what happened in Vegas. It's just on, what channel is it? Comedy Central, it's just on. And I've accidentally started watching it. I don't know how this happened, but I made myself some popcorn. So all good, all good. I'm just sat chilling, had a good day in Oxford. Wasn't able to pick up my glasses that I was going for, but I got my prescription and I ordered them. So they should be with me and then I have to go back to Oxford, which is a little bit annoying, but at the same time it's Oxford. So I love it and had a really good day. Got a few useful bits and just enjoyed being outside and being in a city that I very much adore. So that was all good. Uh, reading wise, I haven't read any more of the book that I cannot quite reach. I am also reading The Shed of the Wind. Sirens, constantly sirens. Okay, excuse the sirens, but I am still reading The Shadow of the Wind. I'm kind of getting through it slowly. It is a Patreon book club pick for May and June. So I will finish it by the end of the month. But I have just, I think I've got like under a page, un, under, not under a page, that would be a really stupid point to stop, under a hundred pages left. And I am still really enjoying it just as much as I did the first time. I've pretty much forgotten a lot of what happened. So I feel like I am still reading it for the first time, but not. I can definitely see why I've always held this book in great esteem. It's just beautiful writing and just fantastic. We will be picking a new Patreon book club pick. So there is a link down below if you wanted to join in in that and join in with the reading experience. There's four books to pick from and I've put a poll up on the Patreon feed. That poll is going to be live and active until Monday night. So when you're watching this in the evening of the day this goes live, you can still vote now if you're watching it. Um, and any votes like that are coming in slightly after that, it's okay. I don't mind, but that is exciting. And my Patreons also now get the choice to pick a book that I'm going to be reading. So I'm gonna be doing special Patreon reading vlogs that are exclusive to my Patreons in the whole net, the whole tree tier upwards. And these will be books picked by my Patreons I'll be reading and vlogging my reading experience off. I will mention them in these weekly reading vlogs, but they will not be like the sole focus of the vlogs. That will be a separate thing for my Patreons, which is very exciting. That is a new feature that will be starting as we go into July, so I can't wait to see what they pick for me. The voting is currently happening for that, so if you, again, if you want to join in with that, do. I've basically listed all of my active TBR in this room. I kind of had to put a limit on it because it was getting too long, and I thought that's just too many books to pick from. So I've just put all the ones in this room that I'm in right now in my lounge, and hopefully 
then my patrons would all pick one each. I'll put them into a random generator or I'll roll a dice or something and then whichever one I pick I will be reading which is very exciting. So hopefully some good reads coming soon but yeah the book that I'm currently reading as I said earlier is Once Upon a Broken Heart which is Stephanie Garber's newest book and I'm really enjoying it but I haven't read any more since I spoke to you last because I've been in Oxford all day and since I got home I've been filming a load of reels which I'm very excited to share with you. I, um, I've, I was really really into reels when they first launched and then when I moved I found it really hard to keep up with them for a little bit because of how long they take to film and now I'm getting slowly back into it again because I've just been doing the odd ones here and there whereas now I've got a load of batch ones filmed kind of going down more the, the comic route with my reels or attempting to anyway if you want to see what they are or you just want to support in any way then that's all linked down below as well but I am Books Nest over on Instagram also a massive thank you because I can't remember if I actually talked about this because on the live that I was on on Thursday was that? no? Tuesday? Wednesday? Wednesday? I was on a live on Wednesday, I think, and I hit 9K on the live, which was amazing, 9K subscribers on YouTube. So I can't actually remember if I've mentioned that in this vlog or not, but if I haven't, thank you, thank you, thank you. If I have, then another thank you. <laughs> the fact that you guys all wanna hear what I have to say and you're subscribing and you're still here and stuff is just means the world to me. And the support for my content is so, so, so important to me. And it just enables me to be one step closer to be able to do what I really, really wanna do full time, hopefully, at some point in the next four to five years, <laughs> possibly. Um, I, don't, I don't know, that could be ambitious, but my mantra is to always be ambitious with what you wanna achieve and just really go for it and say what you wanna achieve and just push yourself for it, even if it seems like it's a really stupidly far away aspiration. So that's my aspiration and any subscribers are really helping me on that journey. So thank you guys so much for subscribing. I can't believe I'm at 9K, that's amazing. I can't believe how close that is to being within the 10,000s, like that, that blows my mind. I'm so happy. So yeah, basically, thank you guys so much for watching this weekly reading vlog. It's been another short one, but B-roll heavy, so hopefully that was fun. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Please do give it a thumbs up if you did, comment down below what you've been reading, and subscribe to see more of my face on your feed. Thank you so much for all of the 9,000 of you, and thank you so much for watching this video. Do keep smiling and stay positive, and don't forget, all my Patreon stuff as well as linked down below, which is extra content from me, including weekly, not weekly reading vlogs, that's these, including bi-monthly reading vlogs, books picked by you, book clubs, live shows, podcasts, it's all sorts of fun stuff. Anyway, yeah, I'm just waffling now, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you've had a great time watching and keep smiling and stay positive and do all those things.